Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for math. Today in math, we're going to learn to count using patterns to 30. But before we talk about patterns to 30, we need to review what is a pattern? A pattern is something that repeats itself over and over. In this picture below, we have pizza, hot dog, pizza, hot dog, pizza, hot dog. In this pattern, pizza and hot dog are repeating themselves over and over. Let's take a look at a number line going up to 30. In a number line, the parts going from left to right are called rows. Look at these rows. How are the numbers with matching colors the same? For example, look at the numbers 1 and 21. What is the same about those numbers? Well, when I say those numbers, I hear the number 1 in both numbers. Look at that middle row. Why do you think that it's not colored in? When you say the numbers in the middle row, you don't hear the same numbers. Listen, 1, 21, 11. When you say the number 11, you don't hear the number 1. Let's see if we can find another pattern looking at a different number chart. In this number chart, we are going to look for patterns in the parts that go up and down. The part of the chart that goes up and down is called a column. So let's look at the columns. What has been colored the same in this chart? In each column, there's a number that's been colored. Let's look at the first column. All of the ones have been colored. In the second column, all of the twos have been colored, and so on. The part that has been colored is called the ones place. The part that has not been colored is the tens place. What happens to the tens as you count along the row? Let's figure this out by counting the number in the row with the 20s. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What happened to the tens? Remember the part that wasn't colored? It stayed the same. All of the numbers in the 20s start with the number two. What happens to the tens when you look at the column? Like in the column 6, 16, 26. Well, in the first part six, we don't have a number in the tens. In 16, we have one. In 26, we have two. When looking at the columns, the tens will increase by one each time you move down the column. We can use patterns to find the missing number in number charts. Let's look at the top row. What number comes after six? You're right, seven. Now, I can fill in the rest of the numbers in that column using my understanding of patterns and columns. I know that all of these numbers need to end with a seven because in the sevens column, all of them have a seven in the ones place. So the second row fills in with 17 and the next row has 27. Now, all I need to do are to fill in the missing numbers in the bottom row. I know that the bottom row is all going to start with a two because these numbers are in the twenties. I just need to fill in the ones place. The ones place is going to increase by one each time you move to the right. That's the pattern with rows. So after 21 comes 22, then 23, then 24, then 25. And just like that, I was able to fill in the missing number using patterns. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.